everyone, it's week four. I am going to jump right into this because I only have a couple minutes from getting home from work late. I thought that it was awesome that we were able to see how children use services impacted um, their ch the children that they work with and the families because it makes sense um, since they work with them so closely they're able to help provide um, services to resources if they know that a natural disaster is about to occur and to help those families that are in need get to a safe place and I thought that was awesome that we were able to focus on that and have an article that demonstrated the impact of social workers and caseworkers um, on the clientele that is outside of what their typical job title would say that they could do or say that they do. Um, I also found it interesting when they brought up that media likes to twist and turn um, how they want people to perceive certain events um, and how it can make a positive impact and also hinder the um, outlook on how people perceive an event in time. Sorry, my cat just fell off of the chair. Um, and I learned about that in one of my high school classes. We would take articles and take commercials and we would talk about how one commercial or one news article was focusing on one aspect of the story while another one was focusing on total different aspects. And then you would have the same story but two different um, like versions of it because of the aspect that it would be focusing on rather than the full story. Plus some articles take the rumor and just run with it rather than focusing on the solid facts. Which that is also my muddiest point. I don't understand. Like I get that news sells like the most dramatic event sell, but I don't get why um, that's one of the key things. Like news articles or newspapers are supposed to be there to give people facts and give people the information, but we're, we tend to get a lot of mixed perceptions and that really bugs me, which is why I don't really pay attention to politics and the news personally. Um, another muddy point I found was in the bioterror, it talked about how um, the people who were became victim to the biological or chemical terror attacks would be the ones to um, like notify everybody else. That I like I get it if we aren't forewarned about it and I get that there's a lot of times where especially with terror attacks where we're not forewarned but with all the technology that we have nowadays I feel like we should have better warning and preparedness to prevent those from happening and also to predict and uh, at least foresee like if something could potentially happen. My question to the class would be if you know that a disaster was on was on its way where would you go to be safe and what would you take as a um, like what would you take what would you bring with you to make sure that you could survive through the disaster as a way to get the conversation started. I hope everybody has a good week and I apologize for the stuttering.